Hi, this is Robert, and today we're going to learn how to create amazing applications using Google Maps. I'll be providing an introduction to the capabilities of the Google Maps API and how you can use it to create both web and mobile applications. So let's get started. Adding an interactive map to your web or mobile application is a great way to engage users, present layered content, and provide relevant information based on a user's location. In this screencast, we will begin by discussing the benefits of creating applications with Google Maps. Next, I'll give you an overview of the different Google Maps products and features so you can understand how to take advantage of these functions in your application. Finally, we will showcase a variety of applications and discuss how Google Maps features were used to make them engaging and useful. Hopefully, examples will provide some design inspiration for integrating Google Maps into your next application. Let's discuss some reasons to use a map in your application. One reason to use a map is to help users find your business location and provide directions. A store locator is a good example where the user can enter their address and find the nearest store. Maps allow you to provide and promote content based on location. With a map, users can quickly identify their current location and relevant points of interest nearby. They can also explore destinations and get detailed information on points of interest. A trip planning application is one example that allows users to search for a destination and then display restaurants, hotels, and other points of interest based on their itinerary. With a map, you can easily present layered content. Users can toggle and filter content layers in order to simplify or increase the level of detail based on their search. By layering content, you can present more content detail in a visually appealing, interactive manner. An example is a real estate map where you can view real estate for sale, but toggle additional layers to view crime in the area or public transit, for example. Another benefit of using a map is to help users quickly retrieve information at a glance. Maps allow you to, to visualize information in order to identify trends, make decisions, and draw conclusions faster. Finally, when you engage users, you give them a reason to come back to your site. The visually appealing, interactive nature of a map draws us in, and when combined with useful content, keeps us engaged longer. Google offers a number of different product frameworks for integrating Google Maps into your application. In this video, we will focus our discussion on the JavaScript Google Maps API version 3. You can follow the link at the bottom of the page to learn more about these products from the Google Maps developer pages. Let's take a look at some of the features the Google Maps JavaScript API has to offer. Google Maps offers three types of selectable base layers, map, satellite, and terrain. You can set the default base layer and provide controls for allowing users to select a map type. You can also create custom base layer controls or move the position of the controls around the map. The base layer is the default layer and focuses attention on roads, buildings, and points of interest. This layer is probably familiar since this is the default layer found when using maps.google.com or Google's mobile application. The satellite view integrates satellite imagery with road and point of interest layers to give you a real world view as you search. Finally, the terrain layer incorporates elevation information to show you the contours of the land. One example where the terrain layer is useful is for fitness applications, where you want to show the elevation for running or biking. An important design feature that Google offers is the ability to create custom map styles of each of the base map layers. So you can style the landscape, roads, water, points of interest, transit routes, and geographic boundaries. Styling the map allows you to create a map customized to your brand's distinct style or highlight features of the map that are relevant to your application. The map styling is configured by creating an array of features and styles and then applying that to the styles option of the map. Sites like snazzymaps.com offer creative commons map styles that you can use or tailor to your application. Google Maps offers a set of default controls for panning, zooming, and enabling street view. The visibility, size, and position of the default controls can be adjusted or you can create your own controls. The mouse and keyboard can also be used for scrolling 
and you can enable zoom in with the middle mouse button. On touchscreen devices such as phones and tablets, the pinch to zoom functionality also allows you to zoom. With Google Maps, you can create custom image overlays or create your own base map layers. For example, you could add weather radar overlays or for boaters display no nautical charts. When using a custom overlay, an opacity slider is typically provided. Controlling the opacity of the custom overlay allows the user to reference the map base layer beneath the overlay. Geocoding is an API feature that allows you to convert an address into latitude and longitude coordinates for display on the map. There is also a reverse geocoding feature where you can take a coordinate and convert it back into an address. Positioning of markers, shapes, and overlays on the map is done using latitude and longitude coordinates. So if you have a business address where you want to display a marker, then you will need to geocode that address to get the coordinates. The geocoding process only needs to take place one time, and then you can reference the associated coordinates going forward. Markers can be placed on the map by specifying the coordinates to indicate a point of interest. Default icons are provided by Google, but you can create custom icons using various types of images and shapes. Markers can have a fixed position or can be draggable with a cursor. Markers can also have event handlers attached. So for example, when clicked, they can open up an info window. An info window is a pop-up that displays relevant content associated with an object, such as a marker or shape. The content in the info window can be HTML, and then it can be styled using standard CSS. Various types of events can be bound to objects on the map, the map state, or fired upon mouse movements. Example events include clicking on a marker, dragging the map, resizing the map, changing the zoom, or when a mouse event is detected over the map container. Let's dive into some examples in order to discuss the features of Google Maps. I chose three companies that represented different market segments in travel, real estate, and boating, and we use our websites to show examples of the Google Maps API features in action. TripAdvisor is a travel website that provides user reviews of hotels, restaurants, and travel-related content. If I search for a particular destination, there could be hundreds of travel locations. While TripAdvisor does a good job sorting and filtering the list, displaying this much content might overwhelm the user, especially on a mobile device with a limited screen size. With the TripAdvisor map, you can view all these destinations using simple colored icons, layered visuals, and filters to find a destination of interest based on your location. When planning your trip, you can perform a quick search and then drill down to get more detailed information and individual user reviews. You can see that I've searched for Miami, Florida and have all the hotels in the area. You'll notice the hotel markers are custom blue icons of various sizes to show the hotel ratings. The larger icons represent higher user rated hotels. This lets users quickly identify popular hotels as well as their location. With the filter pane, you can further refine your search by using the star ratings or filter on price, for example. The Also Show pane allows you to toggle additional layers to view restaurants or things to do in that area. Clicking on the hotel icon fires a Google Maps API event associated with that marker. It changes the icon to indicate the marker has been selected and loads a hotel summary in the upper left-hand corner. This provides actionable information for the user to read reviews and make a reservation. Trulia is a real estate website for home buyers, sellers, and renters. Location is key when purchasing real estate, so it makes sense to incorporate search results into a map. Trulia excels at displaying layered content to help buyers make their real estate decisions, and they provide a unique approach to search for properties. Using the site, I performed a property search in the New York area. You can see the icons including the hoe prices, so with a glance you can quickly decide if you should explore that property further. When clicking on a property, additional details are displayed in the column to the right. The map uses a custom style, and they have created custom controls to set the zoom and base map layer. One interesting feature that uses the Google Maps API is you can perform a search by drawing a polygon around your area of interest. Once complete, 
The property results will be filtered to only show available real estate in the selected region. The map uses custom overlays to display real estate information along with crime, schools, commute, amenities, and other information. These overlays provide valuable information at a glance that would be hard to visualize without the use of a map. Marinas.com is a site designed to help boaters plan a trip and navigate the waterways. It provides relevant information such as navigation aids, nautical charts, weather, and tide information. Individual nautical charts are overlaid to create a custom map base layer. The charts change as you zoom to give you more or less detail based on your view. Along with the nautical chart mosaic, you can also select individual charts to display. This allows users to select the view that meets their needs. Weather radar overlays allow boaters to get real-time weather information to make decisions on the water. An opacity slider allows for viewing the map to gain a better sense of location or more details of the radar. Layered content allows users to toggle the navigation aids, points of interest, and charts to select the best combination of overlays that fit their search. Both weather and tide information are updated as the user moves around the map. Hopefully these three websites showed the powerful features the Google Maps API has to offer and provided design inspiration for use in your next application. Google has created additional demos and samples that are available on their developer pages. This is a great resource to learn about the Google Maps capabilities and get started with their example code. All of the features I've covered here have example code found on the sample pages. So how do you get started? Getting started with the Google Map JavaScript API is free and only requires that you sign up for an API key. You can follow the link at the bottom of the slide and it'll show you how to create a key. You should be aware of the limitations of the free plan that requires you have less than 25,000 map loads per day or are operating a public interest map such as a disaster relief site. Another limitation to be aware of is that you must have a publicly available site. Maps that are used for internal company sites or operate behind a paywall require the paid version of Google Maps, and that's called Google Maps for Work. Thanks for watching. I hope this overview answered some of your questions about the features of Google Maps and gave you some ideas for incorporating maps into your application. Let me know what you create with Google Maps.